Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a clean out on a CPU fan and apply new thermal paste in this MSI gaming laptop. The model of this is GS56 Stealth 10 SF. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Definitely, you need a Phillips screwdriver as well as the new thermal paste and some of the alcohol wipes to remove the old thermal paste. If you're not sure where to buy the thermal paste, check the link down in the description below. I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can buy the replacement um, thermal paste. All right, let's go ahead and remove the screws. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver here. It looks like the screws are all the same size, so it is okay if you mix match the screws, except the one in the middle, the bottom middle here is a lot shorter. And there is a factory seal sticker on the side here, meaning that if you break the seal, you'll break the warranty. And definitely this laptop is kind of older version of it, so the warranty is already expired. For me, I'll break the seal and I'm not sure you, for your case, but you need to check with your manufacturer um, warranty. Okay, so the next step, I like to separate the back cover here. I'm going to stick in my metal prying tool in between that. I missed one of the screw, I apologize. And then the entire back cover would just come right off. Okay, so the next step I like to do is disconnect the battery. You want to slide the connector down towards your body. So slide it down. Let's go ahead and disconnect the Wi-Fi cable. Because the Wi-Fi the both of the cables are black. Sometimes it's hard to identify. For my case, I have a little red. The red stays on the right. But if you have a little Sharpie or a little pen, what you want to do is you just want to make a mark if you can, so that you know the black would go to the, to the left or to the right. So just give yourself a little note which cable goes where. So for mine, the red, stays on the white or the, the right side of it. Just gonna pull the cable straight up. All right, the next step is go ahead and start removing the screws. Make sure that you do not mix match the screw. I have the top bottom here. And then in the middle. And the one here at the bottom left. Top left. And top right. So there are five screws holding down in this section of the heatsink. And the rest of it is the CPU screw. So there's one here. Two on this side of the CPU heatsink. Okay, let's go ahead and disconnect the CPU fan connector. The connector here, I will slide it to the right. Here goes away from my body, so that direction. If it's too small, you can't get in. Get a plastic prying tool. Push it a little one at a time until the cable comes off. You have two cables here. Okay. So now I can try to separate the heat sink. What I like to do is gently lift it up. You want to put a little bit pressure, not a lot, and you want to 
that it takes time to separate by itself meaning that the thermal paste and the thermal pads and those pads are glued together so it takes time to separate on its own all right at this point here you can see that the thermal paste are all dried up you can use your alcohol wipes to go ahead and wipe it off The one on this side is the graphics card. I can see the NVIDIA chip label is on the top. So let's go ahead and wipe it off and make sure that the thermal paste are not falling onto the motherboard. Here would be your CPU. And you want to come and clean on the CPU fin as well. Okay, once you have the good clean out, what I like to do is maybe come back and scrape off some of this um, thermal paste here. It's still kind of stuck on the, around the side. You don't really have to worry about that. The most important thing is the one that is having the contact to that copper heat sink. All right, once you're done with that, the next step is to go ahead and get your new thermal paste. I like to make a little X across the uh, this GPU. I'm just gonna dabble a little bit so that it will spread it around. Okay, that should be plentiful enough. All right, before I put the heatsink back, what I like to do is to get the Aiken duster to dust off the CPU fan. I'm gonna pause the video here because I like to do this outside of my shop. Do not want to do it inside and get all the dust around it, okay? So I'll be doing it outside, I'll be pausing the video. All right, the cleaning is done. I'm just gonna get the Aiken duster to dust off all the fans. Swipe it down a little bit and it's all good to go. So the next step, I will be installing um the heatsink back together okay so all you have to do is just gently drop it back on top making sure that the cable is sitting above the heatsink okay we have everything in place make sure the fans are nice and smooth when it spins okay so we are going to put the screws back together. That is for the top left corner. And this one here at the bottom right. Okay, here comes the heatsink cables, uh, the screws.
Okay, make sure you want to reconnect all the cables back together. That is your CPU fan connector. So just slide it back in. Okay, make sure everything is in and remember the the red little dots is on my right side of it. So let's go ahead and reconnect that back together. And the other one without is on the left. That is for the Wi-Fi. And reconnect the battery back just like such. Okay. Once so you're done with that process, you then now can close the back cover together. And then it's pretty much a simple steps. You just have to put all the screws back together. And that should do it. All right. So I'm going to stop the video here. You just have to put all the screws back together. And the smallest one screw would be right in the middle at the bottom of your laptop. Hope this video is helpful to you. If you do find it helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for doing that. And again, if you want to show appreciation, uh, there's a super tank, um, YouTube super thanks and click the super thanks to do any donation if you like. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.